Good Monday, Makers. It's time for another Community Build Roundup, and this week we've got a bunch of really great gardening builds. There's everything from trellises to sunshades, so many great things. Let's jump right in and check them out. First up is this build from George, and this is a adjustable awning that he made for his wife's gardening workstation. So he said he bought this kit here for this workbench that's kind of like a, it looks kind of like a potting area maybe, or, you know, uh, you know, place you have soil, soil store and stuff like that. And basically, this whole kit included this uh, this station and this canopy here, uh, this kind of awning, sits up against the house. And he wanted to increase the shade and kind of make it more of an enjoyable place to be for his wife. And so what he did was is he just used the empty conduit, looks like three quarter inch, and he just made this square frame. I think he used T connectors on the bottom here, and then he used 90 degree connectors on the top corners, which is really smart because it allowed him to have this uh, leg sticking out of it with the rubber pipe foot on the end. And that, whenever the, the whole thing swivels over, that kind of stops against the house and keeps it from being you know, conduit against the house. That kind of just creates a little bit of a barrier and a soft cushion. And apparently he's got this uh, shade material that is just kind of loose and attached around the pipe. And so it just allows him to basically you know, have this up against the wall and then his wife can swivel out the build and increase the shade. And then it also has uh, the place to be able to hook on the, uh, the shade on the side here in the corner to basically just put walls up and then, you know, wherever the sun's coming from, you're going to have shade, which is really great. And he said that he was able to achieve the the hinging mechanism by just using two hole straps. You can see them there. It's just two hole straps around the pipe and secured against the wall. And basically that is just allowing that, that conduit to hinge inside of it so they can swivel that back and forth. Really great build and really cool to see that technique used be able to make something like that and increase the shade. So thanks so much, George, for sharing that. Really appreciate it. Next up is a build from Olivier, if I'm saying that right, hopefully. And they built a wall trellis for their tomatoes. You can see they've got this garden bed here, and they wanted to do a really simple trellis. And the way they did it was just really one, two, three, four, I think six total connectors, and which you know means not that many connectors, not too expensive. And then they've got you know, conduit going up from the vertical here, and they just used our EMT flange at the bottom of the vertical. It looks like they have three total, one on the outskirts and then one in the middle, and another one on the outside on that side as well. And the vertical just goes up from those flanges, one in the middle, and then two on the outside. And then there's just one long pipe going all the way across, and they use T-connectors to attach that to the verticals. And there it is in place. And it looks like they've just got some um, trellis netting going down, all the way to their plants for the tomatoes. Nice and simple, just a few connectors, but a really great design and a great way to add some support for your climbing plants like tomatoes. So thanks so much, Olivier, for sharing that. Really great build. Next up is a bunch of actual sunshades built by Todd. And apparently they've got quite a few places they wanted to provide shade. First up is this area here. They've got, looks like a lot of potted plants and just some garden, uh, or just some gardening they're doing here against this wall. And basically, they bent some conduit and secured it to this cinder block wall. It looks like maybe the bolt just goes through the conduit and into the wall somehow. That's a good idea. And then the conduit is just bent. It just goes up and then is rounded in the corners, then goes down. And it looks like they put some maybe one-inch EMT in the ground to kind of create the base for the conduit. So the three-quarter inch just sits inside of the one-inch pipe here. And that's a good idea for securing builds uh, that are freestanding like this. And then they just use T-connectors, it looks like, to add some crossbars that go all the way down. And then they uh, you know, re recreated the same vertical, basically, it looks like four total times, going all the way down, and then just connected them together with T-connectors. And they've just got the sunshade, it looks like, using zip ties that is secured there to the framework, and a really great sunshade there. And then here it is, kind of a, a same kind of design, but this one has moved more towards the middle of their yard, it looks like. And they kind of did the same thing, except, you know, both sides are freestanding. You know, the other one was secured to the wall, but this one looks like both of them are secured in the ground, I would imagine, the same way. And they just used T-connectors again to basically add those supports and, and braces wherever they needed. And it looks like even some trellis netting on the back here. Maybe not. Can't really tell. But it looks like maybe some netting there. And then they've got the sunshade draped over top of it, as you can see here, and just goes over it. Yeah, I think that is trellis netting. But then the sunshade, you know, is draped over top of it. And then again, looks like zip ties securing it. 
And then last but not least, they did this build as well, which looks like another shade that maybe goes up and covers this whole area. I think maybe it's adjustable and, you know, is it like this now, but then it folds up and covers this whole area and provides a lot of shade. Or maybe there's plants behind this that it is protecting and then they can move this out of the way uh, to be able to access those plants. Not entirely sure, but nonetheless, looks like a really great idea. They've got the, the sunshade pulled tight with some rope here, which is a good technique for doing that as well. And just all in all, some really great shades and awnings. Thanks so much, Todd, for sharing that. Looks like it's working out great. We appreciate you uh, sending those in. Next up is a build from Jim, and this is a potted plant stand that he made. And it's really cool. I love that he shared the drawing first. So he looks like he did some kind of sketch maybe with, I don't know if that's like Photoshop or something, or if he used like SketchUp or something like that to do it, but kind of did an initial idea down on paper, which is always good. Uh, that's a good way to start your build. If you have an idea, just get it out of your head and on paper. Looks like he made some initial estimates on connectors and measurements and everything. And then from there, he made a mini model to just kind of confirm everything and figured out what connectors were needed for the build. And then here you can see here it is built and fully assembled and pretty much just followed the same design with the connectors and built it for the potted plants here. And it just has some wood going all the way across that the pots can just sit on and get their support. And a really great idea, really great build. You can see 90 degree connectors were used in the corners to kind of create this, this rectangle here that the wood sits on. And then basically just added some front to back pipes with T connectors and uh, some four way connectors there. And then a lot of T connectors at the top to kind of create this, this structure up here. And maybe they'll be able to, or maybe they did this uh, so they could add trellis netting going down to the pots if they're doing, you know, climbing plants or something like that. But really great idea, really great build. I love that it's painted and uh, has a nice sand color. That's a really uh, a nice color, I think, for, for a build like this. So thanks so much for sharing that, Jim. Really great build. Next up is a trellis from the longtime community member, Raymond, who's done some really cool stuff in the past. And he's back again with another really cool build. And this, as you can see, looks like kind of a, a bit of a drop down from this upper area here. I think he called it a terrace. And he's got this stone wall here. And basically, he just made a trellis that arches from this top part all the way down to this lower level of the yard. He'll be able to plant some stuff here and he'll be able to climb all the way up, which will be really cool. And he also painted the pipes. Looks like a dark green maybe, or uh, yeah, I think dark green. It looks really nice. And looks like he did some great arches. He actually shared a while back the formula that I ended up using to be able to create that arch tutorial and calculator. So thanks again, Raymond, for sharing that. His, his write-up and exclamation or explanation of that really made it clear in my mind. Uh, so I really appreciate him posting that. Um, but I imagine he did the same steps again to be able to kind of make this arch. It looks really well done. And it just has some T connectors going front to back to just kind of brace it. And also from side to side to connect the two arches together. And it looks like he's using some hardware cloth um, or what's the, or cattle panels, I think. Uh, is another option that you can do there in between. And I think I think he just kind of bent those over the, the pipes, it looks like, which is a good idea if you're able to do that. And it uh, looks like it works well for trellising. We've seen a lot of builds that use cattle panels and hardware cloth for trellising, and it always works out great. So that's awesome. And it looks like here he's got bricks that actually have a hole in the brick that the conduit fits inside of, which is really awesome. Never really thought about doing that before, but that's cool especially if it works and fits in there. It looks like maybe half inch EMT fits in there, but nonetheless, really awesome build. Another great trellis from Raymond. Really appreciate you posting that. And thanks everybody for posting your build. This is episode 150. I can't believe we've done that many of these episodes, but we couldn't have done it without you guys. So thanks so much everybody for posting your builds every week. We really appreciate it. And we love sharing the creative things that you guys do. If you want to share your builds, you can do so in the community or in the Facebook group that we have or on social media, or you can even email them to us or text them to us, whichever is easiest for you. We'd love to see your builds and then share them with the rest of the community. So really appreciate it. Thanks again, everybody. And we'll see you in the next video.